الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد a question was asked <clears throat> are all the devils chained during the month of ramadan and even those ones that are personal ones that are running throughout our blood as is narrated uh, in a hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so in trying to find this answer from the explanation of Sahih Muslim from Sheikh Safiya Rahman Al Mubarak Fori rahimahullah ta'ala the Sheikh was asked uh, the Sheikh answers this question within his uh, explanation and in beginning we start with a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which is in Kitab Kitab Siyam in uh, Sahih Muslim Uh, عن ابي هريره رضي الله تعالى عنه ان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال اذا جاء رمضان فتحت ابواب الجنه وغلقت ابواب النار وصدفت الشياطين so in this hadith that was narrated by Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه who said that the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said when ramadan comes the doors of paradise are opened and the doors of the hellfire are closed and the devils are fettered and in another narration sami'a aba harirata radiyallahu ta'ala anhu yaqul qala qala rasul yaqul qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam إذا كان رمضان فتحت أبواب الرحمة وغلقت أبواب الجهنم وسلسلت الشياطين. So in this other narration, which is also in Sahih Muslim, and was also a narration by Abu Huraira, narrated by Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه, he said that the Prophet, he heard the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم say, when it is Ramadan. the doors of mercy are opened and the gates of hellfire are closed and the devils are chained Sheikh Safiya Rahman Mubarak Fori rahimahullah ta'ala stated regarding this hadith that the meaning of the gates of paradise are opened is it is a reality for the one who dies during Ramadan or does righteous deeds that are not spoiled or it is metaphorical in that deeds during Ramadan lead one to this they lead a person to this or to the many rewards forgiveness and mercy Imam Nawawi said Al Qadi said rahimahumullah ta'ala it could also mean that opening the door of paradise is an expression of what Allah the Almighty gives to his servant from the different ways of obedience during this month which is not the case during other times in general like fasting standing in night prayer doing good deeds and abstinence from various types of vices and these are all the reasons to to enter paradise uh, for entering paradise and its gates Mubarak Fori also explained he said the gates of hell are closed he said that this is either in reality or metaphorically similar to what has already been uh, mentioned and the fact that they are closed does not negate death of disbelievers and that their punishment by uh, by uh, by fire in hell it is sufficient that their punishment by opening a small door in the grave to the fire other than the large doors that are promised He also said the shackling of the devils could be symbolic or real that is the that is uh the devil's harm could be weakened and their temptations and beautifying of desires could also be weakened or it could mean they may be unable to exercise those powers during this month He also stated rahimahullah ta'ala regarding the devils being bound in chains that this is done with tight chains and could be either symbolic or real and what is meant by the devils is all of them 
or the transgressing devils or the ones that steal secrets. So what we learn from this is that the scholars of Ahl Sunnah, they differ over whether uh, the devils are chained symbolically or uh, in reality. And they also differ of whether some of the devils are chained or all of them are chained. But however, this has no effect upon the ahkam or the rulings or the practice or our practice of the hadith of knowing the comfort that the, sh- the devils, the shayateen are being chained. This has no difference on our practice. We should still strive our best to gain the benefit of Ramadan and know that there should be less fitna for us, less trials and, and, and whispering from the devils because they're chained. So this is what is sufficient for us to know. And it has no effect upon our practice or the rulings. And so these difference, differences in interpretation are permissible. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. And I ask Allah the Almighty to forgive us of our sins and forgive the ulama of, of their sins and bless us all with guidance and bless us with ilm nafiyah.